Okay, so we've finished with our basic information here on the uh, left-hand side. Profile picture is uh, something uh, that we'll do a, a total separate video on, so we're going to skip that. Uh, featured as well, because the featured allows you to feature which pages you like. Okay, so it says you currently have no likes. Give people more ways to connect with you by showing them your likes and interests. You can do this by choosing use Facebook as page under account and then liking other pages that relate to your page. These like pages are shown on the left of the page of your page and you can specify which of these always rotate there by selecting them as featured. Okay, so um, we also have here is, is page owners. So you can, if you have uh, employees working for you, you can click on this and uh, you can choose a page owner as well. Okay. Um, so I'll, we'll also get into this a little, uh, a little into a little more detail later on. So we'll skip over this uh, down to resources. Okay. Uh, here's a link to the Facebook's Facebook's own Facebook page, uh, and they have um, posts on on uh, how to make your page engaging, uh, best practices. So you can click over to this and. Um, here we'll just go over here. It's uh, you just click uh, like, and you can see there's a uh, one and a half million people, and they give you a bunch of resources here on the sides if you if you want uh, more information on certain aspects of uh, Facebook or changes that are happening. And then uh, advertise as Facebook ads, and we'll get into that a little later. Uh, tell your fans you can use um, your other services if you have Skype and, and Yahoo or, or Live Messenger. Um, to find your friends, to, to invite them to, to like your page. And uh, I would recommend doing this. So, for example, uh, you just type in your password and then it'll send it out to all your, your um, contacts on Skype or Yahoo or whatever it is that you choose. And down here, using social plugins. Okay, we'll get into this to, uh, a little uh, more detail. This is uh, what the the area that you would go to to put a, a like button on your website. Okay, or uh, send or subscribe or comments. Okay, so there's a bunch of different op uh, options that you can choose here, and all of these can go onto your website and drive more traffic between Facebook and your website. Okay, uh, manage admins. So if you have another person uh, that is uh, a fan of this page or likes this page, then you can make them a, uh, an admin as well. Obviously, nothing shows up here because I'm the only person that likes the page so far. And under apps, okay, this is all the uh, the applications that that uh, come already pre-programmed um, into uh, your your page. And again, with this, uh, we're going to be adding some apps later, uh, but that's going to be a video uh, in and of itself. Um, some special apps that we want to to put to to uh, uh, get a uh, reveal gate, so a, um, basically a picture that that stops somebody from coming in and uh, seeing your page without liking it first. Okay, that's a, a really good way to convert um, people into fans or or people to get people to like your page. And then down here, mobile. Okay, so uh, if you have a mobile phone or a smartphone, then uh, you can send all these updates via your phone. Okay, and uh, you'll get a, a, a special email address that is uh, unique to you. So it says if you have email on your mobile phone, like a BlackBerry or Android, uh, use email to upload photos or status updates. And then it just says save this email address to your phone as a contact. To upload a photo, email the photo to this address and include a caption in the email subject line. So the caption will, will, become, uh, will show up underneath the, the picture. And then if you want to update your status, you write in the email subject line and leave the body of the email just blank. Okay, so that's uh, either to upload a photo or a status by your phone. Okay, and then uh, with mobile web, uh, with the iPhone, you can read through this. Uh, this tells you how to get a, a username. So um, we, had, we had discussed this before um, somewhat, and we'll go here now. So if you want a vanity URL, okay, so here, what's going to happen is I want instantly fall asleep. So I want uh, my page to be facebook.com backslash instantly fall asleep. Okay? And uh, you'll notice when I check availability, it's going to give me a warning. Okay, so this is what it tells me. The username is available, which is great. 
Okay. Several things you, you, for you to remember. You can't change the username of instantly fall asleep once you set it. Okay. So once you set that name, you're, you're stuck with it. You can't transfer the ownership of the username to another party. You can't violate anyone else's trademark rights. And if you are acquiring a username to sell it in the future, if you're squatting on it, uh, you're going to lose it, and it's, it's against the terms of Facebook. And uh, usernames may be reclaimed for other unauthorized usages. So are you sure you want to set instantly fall asleep? And you got to make sure that the spelling, obviously, is, is correct. Um, so I'm going to click Confirm and see what happens here. Oh, well, they've changed this. Lucky us. Okay, it says the username instantly fall asleep has been set for instantly fall asleep. Now you can direct your fans to instantly fall asleep, uh, Facebook.com instantly fall asleep. So uh, before, um, they used to require a minimum of 25 fans uh, before you could you could get a vanity URL. But uh, <laughs> I haven't uh, created a page in a while, so uh, they've obviously changed that. So. Uh, good news. So right as soon as you you create your page, then you can get a vanity URL right away. So that means that if we go to instantly fall asleep, we should come to our page now. So now you can send people to facebook.com instantly fall asleep. Again, that used to require that you had 25 fans. Obviously, we have zero down here. Um, but they've they've recently changed that, so you don't need 25 fans. You can just uh, go ahead and, and claim your vanity URL. Okay, I just want to finish off the uh, the settings. Sorry, going in weird directions here. Uh, okay, the settings in the back here. Uh, we were on mobile, and here it says with your with your iPhone to install Facebook applications and login. Click the plus sign on the top left corner, and then click Pages. So if you have an iPhone, you can you can read about it uh, here, and it's uh, uh, the same as email, except it's through your phone. And then text messaging, you can sign up for Facebook text messages to post status updates to your page as well through just SMS if you don't have a smartphone. So to do that, you would just click here. You choose your country. Okay, uh, I'm currently in in Taiwan, kind of. Uh, a very long vacation, I guess. So uh, you you just choose who it is, uh, who your carrier is, and then click on next. And then it says, text the letter F to three two six six five, which is F book. And then you will receive a confirmation code. And then you just enter the confirmation code and then click next. Okay, I'm not going to go through this. I, I don't uh, I don't really leave the house, uh, my my home office, so I don't need to uh, update my Facebook page with uh, SMS, but it's an option that's available to you. And then let's finish off this video um, with insights, and we'll get into uh, more detail in this area as well. This basically shows you all the information about your fans or your, your uh, people that, are, that like your page. So uh, obviously there's zero right now, we just built the page. So it, it's not uh, very useful, but in time, it will show you how much activity is being placed, um, or how much activity is going on for um, your new likes, lifetime likes, how many, how many active users you have, so how many people are coming back every month to view your content. Um, you have it broken down to daily active, weekly and monthly active viewers. Uh, and then you have uh, likes and comments that show and how many post views and the feedback. Okay, And everything here has a little question mark, so if you're not sure of what it is, you can just hover over the question mark and it explains exactly what that statistic means. Okay, And again, we'll get into another video and uh, go through um, on another one of my pages and we'll be able to see a little more detail as far as this was, uh, insights is concerned. Okay, so I'm going to end the, uh, this video there and uh, we'll see you in the next video.